Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sival Grim here and welcome to another episode of a new account in New Arena series. If you're unaware of what this is, I've made a new account in the New Arena that was released once with a new update and I'm going to do my best to play on it as best as I can do uh, during 30 days and at the end of the, those 30 days I'm going to give away the account and I'm going to give away 20 bucks. If you want to enter the giveaway, just comment down below with whatever you want and uh, at the end of the series the most liked comments for account and money across all the videos will win. But specify if you want the account or the money account is Android by the way, so keep that in mind. And yeah, with all that being said, let's get into it and if you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe. This is the future. Okay, so this is what's left at the account maintenance, let's say, that uh, was not the cover for the intro. So again, I'm just refreshing talents, upgrading some characters if you feel like you need to uh, slow down the pace of this to see to get uh, a better grasp of what I'm doing, do so. And then we'll get into some arena gameplay and put that uh, black lightning to work. So we're going to pair him up with uh, Multiverse of Flash and then we're going to pair them up with Silver Flash to give some fast tech chance. And I got very lucky on Multiverse of Flash, I already have two gears from Ray Drops, so it's going to be okay. Over here I'm doing an infinite combo with Black Lightning, uh, like uh, it's not really an infinite combo, it's kind of a prolonged combo that you can do. Uh, but the thing is, uh, it, uh, uh, it, do it does not stop the enemy from doing a super move, it does not stop them from tagging in and out, but you can kind of prolong your combos that way sometimes. Going for a special tree, and the special tree is going to be at the very least in the early parts of the game, the bread and butter of Black Lightning, because that uh, armor pierce on the special tree is going to hurt all the characters. And right now, in terms of uh, arena at the very least, he will be my highest damage character even though I have not invested that much into him because he's going to shred through that armor. Dodge that ability and Black Lightning is unfortunately uh, going to die here because uh, the tagging failed. Though I went for a risky tag in old mid net. Now I'm going to go for a special treat, hopefully finish the job here. And yes, he's down but he revived, we'll need to kill him once more. A dark Super L tagged in and she's got the old blades, so that's going to hurt. We're going to uh, tag this guy out before the special one is over. Like if you block the special one of uh, uh, some Supergirl and uh, you can tag just right before it ends and your character will not die. Because only the last, uh, the last part of it is going to kill a character. The other one is going to just reduce health to one. Now Shazam is dead and... Uh, she tagged in again and uh, she's going to kill that guy. Thankfully she did not use a special one, I would have been dead to a special one I think, but uh, in terms of the special two we had a little bit of defense to counter that and King should also go down here. Close fight but we came out on top at the end and this is the first fight of the season and we're going to get a lot of ranks for this one. I think this is going to get uh, us all the way to Elite 1 or close to it. Uh, and uh, yet again, this is pretty close to the refresh. Yeah, we got uh, close to the loot one. We're going to push uh, through this one uh, to hopefully get towards the loot one. This thing that we're fighting shouldn't be a problem for us. Like, the only thing to be concerned is the fact that you shouldn't try to tag out when you're facing that silver scarecrow because he will interrupt your tag out. And I find Black Lightning very enjoyable to play, actually. We're going to combo and trap this dead shot here. Black Lightning in for a special tree. Oh, look at that damage. Look at that boy. He also is the second multiverse character that we have, so he will receive the buffs from uh, uh, Multiverse of Flash. That will make him a very powerful damage dealer. Right here, I I'm combo interrupting the crap out of the Scarecrow. Going for a special tree on a 40 hit combo, and that's going to be a one shot. Like, this is what I call a proper damage dealer for Arena and Champions Arena. Like, uh, Mythic Wonderman might be better than him, not gonna lie, might be better than him on the long run for this purpose, but uh, with uh, close to no investment, this guy is going to uh, outperform her by far. And there we go, we won the fight, and yeah, uh, another close one, but hey, we won at the end. Closer to Elite 2, we're going to fight this team, you, you know me, I love fighting uh, Black Manta in Arena. He's going to be paired up with uh, Brainiac and Armored Superman, like a bigger concern for me is going to be that Armored Superman, not that Manta. We interrupted the combo there. And we're up to a 40 hit combo, but we, uh, over there I wasn't sure if he was gonna tag out, so I blocked two hits before trying to interrupt. Being careful with this Brainiac because he's got kind of long ranged abilities. Re-engage in that combo and we'll go for a special treat. This will hopefully one-shot him. And yes, we one-shot him actually. Nice. We're going to stay away from that. Uh, by the, and yeah, also the passive of Black Lightning that increases the power cost of the abilities of the enemies if they hit multiverse characters is going to be helpful to us. 
Though the fights don't really last that long because I either lose because my team is not so tanky or I win because I deal tons of damage. But yeah, over here we're just going to wait for our uh, super move. Backed off uh, of, out of the last part of that special tree, super move, he will go down. And now we just have to... Actually, he did not go down. He tagged in Black Manta at the last moment. Damn. That, that was some pretty good play from the AI. Now we just need to get up more power and try to do super move with our uh, multiverse flash to finish the job here. Yeah, he interrupted that tag by jump attack. I hate it when they do that. Like, bro, if you're going to interrupt it by an ability, like, I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. But not like that. And over here, I'm just flexing with the, uh, let's call it, we shouldn't really call it an infinite combo, but you can say that, I guess. And there we go, another win for the Black Lightning team. We got uh, close to L2, on the edge of L2. Now we're going to turn to our Arc Knight Batman team again. Uh, Catwoman and uh, Batman Jab Batman are going to be here just because they are tech and agility. And they are going to benefit from uh, the passive but not invest... Uh, for Batman Jab Catwoman I don't have the gears because I would invest resources into her. And uh, Batman Jab Batman is not a great character so I'm not going to do that. And I'm, I've been very really experimenting with the... Uh, tagging methods uh, of uh, characters that suck with their swipe right like instead of uh, with Dark Knight Batman instead of ending the combo in a swipe right and then tagging in I'm going to end it in three taps and then tagging but, like let me know down in the comments if you knew about this before maybe it will be like a huge boomer moment for me because I didn't know about this but yeah uh, the same deal with the uh, Batman Jab Batman just finish it in three taps and then tagging like you would have finished it with the other characters in a swipe right and it's a quite effective strategy we're going to back off here, uh, that white canary is in, I hate her because she's got so fast animations on her jump attack and uh, all the stuff. Arcanite Batman in with that uh, new tagging that I'm trying to do, or the new tagging that I discovered and most of you would, were using already, I don't know. Going to stun this guy and the stun is going to transition into the uh, Batwoman, she got stunned and we're going to hopefully stun lock her all the way to death. Another one landed, like at that point I could have done super move and maybe it would have been a safer option, but nevertheless this will be over shortly. And there we go. Now we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, fight this team. Like, uh, th there shouldn't be a problem while fighting this team, like we kind of countered that reverse flash with Dark Knight Batman and King, the only problem that King might uh, be to us is uh, too much damage and too much health to deal with. Because usually when you fight a King in the arena at lower threat level, he will be like 80% of that team's threat. Again that tagging. Maybe I'll do a guide on that one in the future. Another special two. The stun did not land. That that king resisted two stuns in a row. Like, bro, you're doing something wrong. You're building him the wrong way. Uh, though most likely it's just uh, some uh, poor dude uh, uh, free rerolling the talents and not getting anything good. So I totally understand that. Like I got resistance and defense on my just like the flash uh, because I can't get uh, true refreshes. Uh, another crit chance or crit damage talent. So I totally understand, my dude. Thankfully we did not get interrupted there, in another special two, it's finally a stun, finally a stun on this guy. He's got super move available so Catwoman will take care of that. Could have tagged in uh, Batman Jab Batman but I was unsure if he had uh, the immortal available because if he was too low health then uh, it wouldn't have triggered. But he had it. I just saw right there and I was like let's, let's go save, let's go with Catwoman. That tag in again, special two. Another special two, and he's going to revive. Uh, they got also a uh, metahuman amulet because he uh, revived and then got a little bit uh, of a top off on that revive. And we just got to deal with this king. This shouldn't really be a problem, I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't have super available, he used it previously. Yeah, over there I screwed it up, like you have to wait uh, like a second after, like half a second after you do that or the game will register it as uh, uh, a straightaway tag in into, that works only into an ability. So I have to be careful with that. See, I'm waiting a little bit, I'm waiting like half a second and then tagging in and I can re-engage the combo.
Hopefully we'll be able to stun lock him. Another stun fail, we're just going to back off and try to engage the combo. I got greedy there, could have waited a little bit longer. Uh, that stun did not work as well. He's getting power boosts uh, and that means that he's uh, probably got the uh, Heart of Darkness because his uh, Heart of Darkness gives you a power boost to end the enemy crits. Let's see, the, is this the last stun of the game? And yes, it was. There we go. Now this is going to be the last arena fight and then we'll transition into some uh, solo raids action. Uh, this team uh, might be a problem because they look like they are more tanky than we can really afford to fight. And we might actually die before we get to kill them. But nevertheless, uh, this little bunch is being very annoying. Like, let me, le let me engage a combo on you, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I I don't like sometimes when that special tree triggers for free because I was kind of using her as a bootleg combo builder there and the fact that she triggered her special tree for free kind of screwed up the combo. So not I can't say I was a fan of that in that specific situation. Screwed up the tag in there, she resisted the stun. This fight is not going well, though we didn't lose anybody, we didn't lose a lot of health. We're playing it safe and playing it slowly for now. That stun failed and that uh, elbow also got a firebox so that might be a problem when he gets low health. Even if stun succeed you'll get a cleanse for that one. And this is just a dragged out fight because like they're not dealing a huge amount of damage to us but at the same time we're not doing it either. Finally a stun landed. Finally. Let's see, can we kill her? I, I We have the energy, we just have to get the stuns right, and nah, we didn't get the stuns right. Thankfully I managed to block that for some reason. Yeah, she tagged in, she tagged, she tagged out eventually. This Hellboy di did not get stunned yet again, he's got stun resistance. And in comes Greed with a special... Like that thing you can't avoid, like that special 2 from Greed you can't avoid. You saw that, that I tagged in, that uh, ability from Greed did a... Uh, did the 180 and came back and hit me from behind like that that's a pretty weird thing i think it's the only ability in the game that does that also it, it's the same deal with uh uh dark side's ranged attack i think also follows you until the end of days but if you tag in at the right moment you can kind of avoid it so i don't know over here the firebox uh, healing uh, kicked in so we have to deal with that uh, and we got our special 2 disabled by the silver banshee but thankfully we uh, managed to kill that guy with a super move. Batman's got immortal so he'll be able to survive. Using that tagging strategy again and tagging in Arkham Knight Batman, please be a stun, yes it's a stun, we might get rid of this grid as well. The timer is almost over, but even uh, if the timer is over we should win by the timer. She's stun resisted but we managed to chain a combo yet again. She got stunned and there we go, we actually won the fight by killing her, not by the timer, with one second left. Now we're going to get into some uh, Soul Raids gameplay and uh, uh, all the Soul Raids gameplay will be pretty much me uh, using uh, the Arkham Knight Batman team. And you'll see uh, in the first one is the Black Lightning team because I, would, uh, I wanted to see if Black Lightning actually was able to deal more damage. But uh, the investment that we put on Arkham Knight Batman is still going to be far superior than Black Lightning. So I'm going to give, leave you with the gameplay and some music. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. Dislike it if you dislike it. Maybe hit that bell button and I'll see you all in the next one.
This is the future. Is the future human error?